Alright YouTube, this is the, to my knowledge, the first homemade, easy, free, um, micro SIM adapter. So you can use a micro SIM from an iPhone 4 on any AT&T or I guess T-Mobile if your phone's unlocked phone. So, here we go. After I show you that it works. I'll give you, uh, I'll show you how to do it. Just slide it in. Fits in. This is a Samsung Propel. As you can see, one moment. Have you can see four bars. So, this is a really, really helpful mod, I think. So, now I'm going to show you how to do it. Alright, so first of all, what are you going to need? You're going to need an old SIM card, just a, of this shape. This is why it's so cheap. You just need a baseball card, and it doesn't really matter, just as long as it's pretty solid. And then I used a fine point Sharpie, and you'll want your micro SIM, which is inside this that I just showed you. What you'll want to do, you'll get your, uh, you'll get your baseball card. It's easier with one that has a lot of white space on it. So, let's just find this. You want to, you want to put. Here's the SIM card. So you want. Let's just put the SIM card right on the edge. You want to trace it. I'm not going to trace it super good because I already have mine. Alright, so you can see right here I traced the SIM cord. And then what you want to do is you want to get your micro SIM and line it up so that the micro SIM, the micro SIM's reading pad isn't as big as quite as big as this one. So what you'll want to do is you want to line them up because they'll be, I mean they'll be the same size. You want to line them up so that the micro SIM's reading pad is in the middle of this one, and that's where you want to trace it on the baseball card. It's, it sounds really hard, but it's actually pretty easy. So then, once you get done, you'll have something that looks kind of like... Kind of like this. Kind of looks like an iPod if you hold it like this. So you'll have that. Next, what you'll want to do is get scissors or an exacto knife whichever I mean scissors is doesn't come out as clean and you'll want to cut out the bigger shape the what you trace from the regular SIM card so once you have that out I'm not gonna do that just to save time on the video but once you have that out you'll have the shape of this but it'll just be the baseball card and you'll want to this is this is the easier part to do with the exacto knife. You want to cut out the small, small part. Cut that out. So and actually for mine, I actually cut out like a big L shape, like around the edge, because the micro sim fits in better like that. So you'll have the L shape, and or I mean that's just what I did. That's just how it fit better for me. It depends on what phone you have. 
because all the SIM card slots are a little different in like where they're located or whatever. So you'll have whatever you have for that. And then what I did, say let's say this is the baseball card part. I laid it down so that the reader was face down. And then you get a piece of scotch tape and just lay it over. But line up this micro sim with the piece of baseball card. And put scotch tape over it. And then on the top where there's no where th this would be this would be baseball card, you want to overlap the tape so that it's a little thicker so that when you pull it out the micro sim doesn't fall out and it gets stuck. So then you'll have that and you want to cut off the excess of the tape on the sides and then you you're ready to you want to make sure first that um that it's in the right way, that it's not in backwards or anything, and that it's in the middle of this reader card. This gold part. You want to make sure that it has it's lined up in the middle of that. And then you'll put your battery in, because you don't want to have your battery in when you take when you take your SIM card out. And then you should be ready to go. Um, if you have any questions, you can PM me or you can comment or comment back. And um, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks. Later.